Good morning, good morning. Oh, as soon as you open the door, look. David. Oh, he's gone. Dave's gone. Okay, so Dave's a cat. Now I can't close the hay container. Anyway, what am I in here doing? Oh, today and this week on the farm. We are, I've got loads of jobs to do around um, the farm today. We haven't had much done this week. Haven't been able to get much done this week because um, well, loads of things. First of all, I broke my finger on Saturday. So that was a big ouchie. Um, not on the farm, but playing netball, unfortunately. So um, I couldn't really do much for a little bit. And then to top it off, I went and got sicker. I got COVID. And so by Tuesday, oh, I was bugged. I'm still super, super sick. But life goes on and everyone has to be fed and watered and all of the things. So husband and everyone's been helping out um, as much as possible but it is still just you know one of those things where it's still mainly up to to me um yeah all right let's get it done Good mama. How does he feel? Oh good. <laughs> And some of this whole barley. I'm just going to take this with me so that I... It's just much easier to move animals when you've got food. And then I've got this mud and rain. This stuff is absolutely amazing. So we have Buster who... Has, I've never seen a horse with mud rash so bad. Oi! Sorry, that is... You guys remember Wolfie? Yes, he's even more senile now than he than he was. Like so senile. Hey, you're dementing. He's getting the dementia, which um, I'm actually doing a bit of research on at the moment. So he's on the CBD oil, which is helping massively. But I'll show you what happens. So, where has he gone? This demented dog. The dogs have all gone for a run. Oh, he's running back too. Well, he doesn't look bad today. So normally what happens is um, he gets so excited when we're coming out onto the farm or if I start the motorbike or anything like that, that the signals to his back legs stop um, and he ends up having to drag his back legs along the ground because his back legs just stop working. Hey buddy, yeah, you get a little dementia. It's called something, I can't remember what, but I'll put it here in the video. Um, and he's being diagnosed with it. You can see on his back legs where all the fur is being dragged off. It's not bad. Um, like I said, he's on CBD oil. It was like bloody and all sorts of stuff because um, it was that bad, but now it's actually not that bad. Yeah, so CBD oil has made a massive difference to to his anxiety which was the trigger of um, his back legs not working the signals not getting to his back legs from his brain so it has helped immensely but he is still he's still pretty demented um, the research that I'm doing at the moment is actually around um, mushrooms so it's a mixture um, basically it's basically an idea based on um, some stuff that Paul Stamis is working on. If anyone knows who that is, he's like the magic mushroom dude of all time. He's a brilliant, brilliant man. Anyway, so some of the research or interests that he's actually exploring at the moment include around, it's a combination of three things. It's uh, psilocybin, lion's mane mushroom, and... 
um, one of the B vitamins. Is it Sison? I can't remember. Yeah, I'll put it here anyway so you can see. And it's a micro dose of those things. Um, and they work in combination and they're thinking that they might help people with dementia and all that sort of stuff. Yes, I know dogs are different to, to humans, but there's actually nothing else that will help him. So considering he's end of life, like what's the harm in trying really? You know, like obviously I'm going to look at the dosages for dogs and not overdose them. I'm not going to make my dog trip out, but I'm definitely going to, um, yeah, just maybe give him a little... A little mix of something even if it's just making sure that he does have enough cyacin um, in his food intake already then rather than adding it because it's a B vitamin and then um, adding some lion's mane and stuff I already take lion's mane I also wouldn't give my dogs anything that I wouldn't take that's weird eh but I mean obviously I don't eat dog food but you get my drift hopefully you get my drift good morning Who's not supposed to be there? Hey? You guys aren't supposed to be in that paddock, are you? What happened? I think I know what happened, but I'm going to come over and ask right after we move the goats. Goaties! Come on, girls! Come on! Here they come. Come on, big balls! Come on! Oh god, I'm gonna have to start moving backwards because. Come on! Here they come! Here they come! Here they come! everybody good goaties so now before I move the horses it's, it's weird that's got a piece of mud on it there we go yeah so before I move the horses I'm just gonna chuck in a capful into the trough <laughs> you guys just love to be watching and things don't you apart from tank tanks like here's my butt yeah that's good the good stuff's in there now Right, now to figure out what you little shit bums did, hey, to get into that paddock when you're supposed to be in here. Now this fence is on, live. Looks like someone's jumped it and broken it. Maybe I'm going to have to go and turn it off. Something's definitely... Someone's had a party in here, it looks like. Who's had a party? Hey, wire all over the ground. That's not ideal, is it? Oh, I sh probably should have turned it off before. Who was naughty? Don't go out there, Riley. I actually think I know what happened. Normally, what happens is up here, and I'm hoping they didn't just break the break the fence. If it's broken, I'm gonna have to go all the way back, turn it off, and then fix it. And it looks like it is broken. Yep, it is. There's the break. Okay, so what what happened was happening before was that rat bag over there, Buster, was actually taking off the um, the handle, which it looks like it has been done. It might have been that he took it off and went through it, and then the others went through the other bit. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, definitely, it's broken at the handle. 
so there's the handle there all right we're gonna have to get back and fix it all get back turn it off and then come back hey buddy all right work smarter not harder they say but oh my gosh look i'm getting snuggles with raisin raisin you snuggle puff hey how's my little snuggle puffs oh my gosh that wind's coming up and it's really cold and i've got to get this fence fixed guys so i'm sorry but i can't just stand here giving you all the loves that's my broken finger so we don't definitely don't want to have him nibbling on that hey you can't nibble on that no yeah good boy what about you just a tanky right so excuse me but I have to fix this fence that you guys broke all right so can we back up a little bit please go on thank you okay let's get it done come on Buster time to go back into the come on come on buddy time to go back now actually because the other horses have already gone down the track system and Buster's by himself I'm gonna take this opportunity to give Buster a dose of this by himself. All right. Is that good, buddy? <sighs> good boy. So I'll show you his mud rash as well. And remember, this is actually after a month's worth of treatment. So this is good, like really good. Uh, this back leg here, the white ones always seem to be the worst. And you can see those big sores. That's actually a sore, that bit there. Um, yeah, so. It was that, especially underneath the back, like you can see the back of that one, or the back of that one, was so bad that it was just full on crusty, painful mud rash. And now they're looking really good. But yes, he still has. Good boy. Yes, he still has some mud rash. But we don't pick off the scabs because it's actually really painful. And it's all dry. But these, this was like massive out here. And all down here, he's got a few little ones still in there. Good boy. But it's definitely working. So we're happy about that. We've just got to keep up with it, eh, buddy? yeah so it's good for him to get a dose you do one cat full in his feed don't you make a mess of it one cat full in a feed we don't really feed out that often um, now that it's getting cooler i'll probably throw a cover on him just because he's that typical thoroughbred although he is nice and fluffy going into winter so that's good and then one cat full in the water trough a day is enough once he's on top of it completely then we'll take that down to one every couple of days and then try and get it down to like once a week or maybe even just once a week and just his food because it is quite spendy that stuff hey buddy all right come on then you can walk and talk come on well, at least he's walking and trying to eat at the same time yeah oh god buster Come on. Stepped on the back of my foot. Oh, that hurt. Okay. And we can finish. So this is the other part of the paradise. This is through paddock two. I'm just going along and actually stomping in these again it just seems like every couple of weeks or about once a month after a good rain or whatever these just come out just like a little maybe it's because the horses have pulled it up this time that they're all just half an inch out of the ground so just popping them back in and then we'll go and um open up the rest of the paradise for them. Oh, it's 
beautiful autumn day. I think this is one of the coldest days of May we've actually had so far. It's been super, super hot. We've got that tiny little sprinkling of snow last night on the on the mountain there. Whew. Oh, that's nice, Charlie. Taking a dump. Good boy. So we're just going to open this gate so that the horses can use the rest of this track. While we're down this end of the farm, go check on the boys. This is our big bull and the little steers. Beastie baby! Come on beastie! Come on my little beastie! Hi! Hi sweetheart! Hi! Yeah I know! Hi! Yeah! Do you miss me? You've been down the back paddock with the big boys! Yeah she's a big boy now! Hey! It's a big boy! Oh! <laughs> you gotta be Gino! You gotta be Gino! Oh, he's getting a bit excited. Better stand up. Hi. I don't have nothing for you, buddy. I've got rubs for you. You want a rub? Do you want your rub? Oh, are you going to come say hi as well? That's nice. All my boys come in to say hello. Just excited to see me, aren't you, beastie? You, you big boy. You've gotten bigger. Yeah. You're a big boy, aren't you? Yeah, you're looking good out here in this nice paddock. Hey. Everyone's coming over. I don't got nothing for you. No. So that's bigger red. He's our big boy, that's his latest baby. Come on. Alright. Oh. I know you're a good boy and I love you. But I don't have any food for you today, okay? Yeah, the horses ate it all, I know. I'll bring you some tomorrow. Good boy get rubs today. Alright, it's cold, let's go. Me come. Good girl. Yeah, this gate is ridiculously high off the ground. I think the previous owners were here. Um, I don't know whether it's washed out or whether they've had cows that have dug it out or whatever, but we need to fill it up with like sand and river stones and stuff to bring it back up to a reasonable height so not so many things can get under that gate. I was hoping the horses would have come around by now, but they haven't, so we're going to head back because it's cold and I'm sick. That wind chill must be about minus one at the moment. So coming through this part of the track system, the boys have emptied all their hay bags. There is a big hay unit down the end with six bales. This is the muddiest part of my track system. And we had a lot of rain last night, so she's about to get muddier. Come on, boys. Come on, Tank. <whistles> Let's see if they'll come. Good boys, yes. Good boy, Tank. Come on. <whistles> Here they come. So they don't realize that I've opened up the other part of the track system. Come on! Good boys, come on! Here they come. Hey Raisin! Here you go buddy. You get to lick the bowl because you are a good boy. Good boy! Good boys, come on! Come on in! Buddy. Ah, come on. Uh -uh. 
What have you got, Raisin? Come on. Raisin. Come on. What are you doing to that bowl, Raisin? Oh, Raisin. You broke it. You broke the bowl. Five seconds. You had five seconds with the bowl and you broke it. Thanks. That was not helpful at all. Come on, Tank. Stop being such a pussy. God, I tell you, some days this boy is just like, oh, something's going to eat me. It's like. Come on, buddy. Come on, Tank. Come on, Tank. Finally, they're coming through. Come on, boys. I promise you'll like it. Come on, Rum. Come on, Tank. Come on. Good boys. Yes. Finally, guys. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Go. Go. Hut. Ha. Go. Hut. Ha. Wolf, get inside. Riley, get up. Today. Go on, ha! 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 Fucking assholes. Fucking dickheads. Someone's been left behind. Did you get left behind, Buster? Come on then. There they go, all the way down the back. Oh man, they were so upset about not being allowed in there last night that they didn't want to go down there today. Weird. Well, not really. It's just... It's cold and sometimes horses just like want to bring the drama. So that's it. I had to push them down the track system. Not Buster of course, he just gets left behind and then comes trotting along at the end. But yeah, I pushed them down the track system so at least now they're down with the main food area so they can eat some hay and get some nice warmness in their tummies. And that's that job done. We're on to the next thing. I swear, look at that. It took Raisin all of 30 seconds to absolutely destroy that bucket. Oh. Oh, so the other week I sprayed my fence line because there was a whole pile of gorse coming through. Look at that. This isn't actually, this is our fence, but our boundary is actually about a meter back there, right at the base of those trees essentially, where that big pile of stones is. So. Oh, there is a massive pile of stones all the way down there. It looks like it's being built up. But anyway, we sprayed all this gorse. This has taken about a month. It is still dying. Some green bits, but yeah, she's looking pretty good. Mostly dead. Gorse here in New Zealand is a 
real hassle. Uh, more so in the North Island, I think, anyway, than the South Island, just because the South Island is a lot colder. Um, and uh, so gorse can't cycle through. Um, it's can't cycle, can't regenerate, can't grow as fast, can't seed as much as it does on the North Island. And the North Island gorse um, reseeds like four times a year or something stupid. So trying to actually control it is really, really difficult. And um, especially if you've got like a north facing hill or something with cows on it. Oh my goodness. And the seeds will stay in the soil for something like seven years. You have to just continuously spray it. It's an absolute have. The best way to control it that we found in the North Island on hills like that was one, don't have any cows on them because they, as soon as they hog the ground a little bit, expose a tiny bit of soil, that's where the gorse takes off. And two, chuck in like a whole pile of goats. You need really good fencing, but goats will definitely keep your gorse from coming up because they eat all the new little seedlings and just, it dies off. So that's really cool. Here in the South Island, it's not that bad. People use it still for fences and stuff down here, like more of its traditional use, like what it was in the UK. It's an invasive plant here in New Zealand, so... <sighs> still, I don't really want it on my farm, just because if we are going to be warming up weather-wise the whole planet, then, yeah, I don't want it to take over. I'd rather control it. There's definitely places in the South Island that are overrun, but I do think um, it's a bit easier to get on top of in the North Island, that's all. Uh, sorry, a bit easier to get on top of in the South Island, that's all. Right, so we've got one last job to do, which is I've got to tie up um, some of the trees in the fruit forest, but it's freezing and I'm sweating underneath this now and I'm sick. So I think I'm going to go inside and have breakfast and a coffee and stuff and then we'll see if I've got enough energy to carry on the day. Logan said that there was a fantail in the shed this morning so I'm just going to go while I take my jacket off have a quick peek at that because we've had a black fantail hanging around. Um, I've never before until I moved here seen one in my life and we have this black fantail that just hangs around. It's, it's pretty amazing. Okay buddy we're not supposed to be hanging out. I know. I know. What you doing in here? Yeah, you like it around here? You're welcome. Can I take photos of you? You're so pretty. Is it? So, right, little man. What do you? <laughs> okay, you need to go out of the shed before the cat comes in.